open to a lot of different things. We know the Yankees are always doing business. Brian Cashman trying to figure some things out. There are other free agent pitchers that are available as well. Blake Snell, former Yankee Jordan Montgomery coming off a World Series win with the Rangers. Marcus Stroman. Michael, we've heard the connection with Frankie Montas. Perhaps he comes back, but there are some intriguing names for anybody. But you think of Montas and Montgomery with those connections previously with the Yanks. Well, I, I think the Yankees smartly are on in on everything. They, they they simply are. I think they they've come out this offseason and they're flexing. They're going to just go out and Yankee, and that's what they've done in the past. They've shown their strength. They've shown uh, the, the the strength of their brand, uh, the ability of to suspend a lot of money as well. This is something that they have covering a wide swath that's out there. Now, whether they get Yamamoto, that will lead what they'll do next. But just because they get Yamamoto doesn't mean they're done. So I think you look at a different level of pitcher if you get Yamamoto to add somebody else. If you don't get Yamamoto, then maybe you look on that top level. But I give them credit. They have come out swinging the entire offseason. Yeah, Brian Cashman has talked about the importance of adding pitching. He didn't say one pitcher. So Michael is exactly right that there is a push and a pursuit to try and improve that rotation outside of Garrett Cole last year Yankee starters had an ERA of over five so that is not acceptable you can't just have Cole and then hope and wish that the rest of ro rotation does its job so Yamamoto would be first but I expect that the Yankees will also pursue other pitchers I think Montas is someone they've had their eye on because you'd love to be able to sign him to a one-year incentive laden deal because they've had the history with Montgomery there's also a connection there I'll, I'll tell you one thing that's impressive about what the Yankees are doing is that they've gone out and they've gotten the best. Now, they haven't signed a free agent yet. Obviously, they're working hard to get Yamamoto. They went out and got the best player available in Soto. He's already on the team. Now they're looking at the best pitcher available. They're hoping that he's on the team, and they're still not done. I think this is an impressive approach, 82 and 80, without making the playoffs. That was not something that was acceptable to them. They were never going to run this team back and see if it could do better if they were all healthy. They improved it with the best hitter in the game, and now they're trying to get a 25-year-old guy who's won the equivalent of three straight Cy Youngs in Japan. They're swinging big.